Hello, everyone, and welcome to this very special roundtable event. It's Ian Riccoboni here from Ring of Honor, and we're here to celebrate the life of Hana Kimura, a star that left us entirely too early. Coming up this Saturday here in the United States on commemorating the day of Hana's passing, we'll be holding an event being broadcast from Japan with live English commentary, which you can purchase on fight.tv. Our friends at Fight TV are carrying Hana Kimura's memorial event, and that will begin at 10 p.m. And here we brought a number of her friends to extend the celebration and have a celebration of her life ahead of time. A part of our star-studded panel, we have Chris Wolf, who competed in stardom in Oedo Tai, Sumi Sakai, former Ring of Honor Women's Champion. We have Zoe Lucas, who also competed with Hana Kimura. Ring of Honor Women's Division star, Session Moth Martina, who had many battles with Hana. And we also have Mandy Leon, who competed in Ring of Honor against Hana Kimura. Uh, but also we have a very special guest, and, and that's who we're going to start out with here today. This event wouldn't be possible without the permission and the blessing of Hana's mother. At this time, I'd like to present Kyoko Kimura, who also has competed in Ring of Honor, to say a few words about her amazing daughter and about the event that's coming up to celebrate her life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sumi. Would you ah, be able to? She says, Rebecca, thank you so much for joining the, to, uh, this uh, like meeting uh, from uh, you know, everyone at different time. Then also, thank you for people are watching to this show. No, oh, and, and thank you, Sumi. Thank you, Kyoko. We're very excited <laughs> on Saturday night here in the United States, on Sunday in Japan. This event will be broadcast live with English commentary featuring myself and world famous CB, who is a great and dear friend of Hana. And speaking of great and dear friends, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Session Moth. Session, we, we know that in Japan, you've competed in stardom. That was uh, Hana's home promotion for many years. And uh, what can you tell us any memories you have about, about wrestling with Hana, about traveling with Hana? How do you remember Hana? Uh, well, Hana was actually my very first match in Japan before I was a part of Oeda Tai. So obviously me terrified not having a clue what's going on and being like, I don't, I don't know if I belong here. <laughs> I remember going in and uh, meeting her and she had the best English out of um, all the girls we were wrestling. So she would translate everything. And uh, she was so friendly and funny. Like she, it almost kind of made me scared. I was being so polite and trying to be like, as good as gold and then she's there joking with me i was like oh my god what's going on but she made it so easy and made it fun as well so it was really great and then i think within a week i was put into a way to tie so then she was kind of you know the one that guided me through it i had no idea what i was doing and i was just she was just helping me every step of the way which is great and then for like the next two tours we were enemies but it was great <laughs> 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 yeah, on the Oedo Tai side, you uh, you were the villains. You were often the yeah, uh, <laughs> fun fun villains, fun right. villains. Like I, I was never yeah, I was never bad. I just was too drunk to really know what was going on. And everyone else in Oedo Tai just had to kind of carry me around. <laughs> I looked to Natsu for all my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Session and and Chris. You jumped in, Session. You're in Ireland right now, Chris. You are in Norway. So it is, uh, we thank you very much for joining us on, on these off hours session and Chris, uh, strange hours for you indeed. First of all, welcome back. We have, we've, uh, it was a pleasure to have you in Ring of Honor before, uh, before you retired and hopefully retirement's just for now. Hopefully it's not forever, <laughs> right? No. <laughs> I will visit shows and say hello and cheer you guys on. <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah. These paws are for outside of the ring now. Oh, well, that's wonderful. We hope you're enjoying life outside the ring, but it was wonderful to have you in Ring of Honor. And Oedo Tai, if I'm not mistaken, you were also in Oedo Tai with Hana as well, which means you probably traveled and, and wrestled with her as a, as a partner, right? Yeah, uh, many times we've had, uh, we often had group or team matches together. Um, but I think the first memory that came to mind when you guys asked what 
do I think of when I think of Hannah was maybe the first time I met her. Uh, it was practiced before one of our shows in Shinkiba and she was there waiting outside the door because she was setting up uh, Kyoko-san's baiten. And I remember she had like really kind of a cool style. She was still cute, but she had like this army jacket going on. And I think for most Japanese girls, they're more soft. So immediately I was like, she's cool. I want to be her friend. And then, you know, uh, me and Hudson Envy went over to talk to her because I think it was Hudson's first tour. And her English was pretty good, but she seemed shyer than we know her now. But um, she still had that same kind of confidence that she always had, where it, she was very self-assured of who she was, even if she might have insecurities about other things, you know, like a normal teenager would. I could see Kimura-san in her very, very clearly, that kind of power. Anyways, end rant. That was my memory. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, Chris. And, and we miss you here in Ring of Honor. And we hope that if you ever decide to, to come back, <laughs> there's a, there's a uh, maybe- I'll break some boxes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, one more match in you. I think there's a couple <laughs> folks on this call that, that would love to have that match. So, we, we haven't spoken to you yet. Zoe Lucas is an internationally known professional wrestler, one of the very best in the world. Not, a, not new to wrestling fans, maybe new to some Ring of Honor fans. Probably, so, yeah. Zoe, yeah. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully one day we'll see you in Ring of Honor. But um, what did Hana mean to you? And, and you're joining us from overseas as well. <laughs> so thank yeah. you the time <laughs> this evening. No, thank you for having me. Um, I, I don't know, when I think of Hannah, I think of so many different things. Um, oh, <laughs> um, I probably think my, like, the way to get her across the best would be to think of, we, uh, sorry, <laughs> we spent so much time together um, when we're on these tours that she was like, um, almost like a mother to us, even though she was so much younger, she was like a mother to us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we, Zoe, we're okay. We can come back to you, Zoe. We'll come back to you. Um, Mandy, uh, you've wrestled, you wrestled okay. Hannah in Ring of Honor and, uh, you know, Hannah, I remember Hannah as somebody that would sing, that would dance, that would be um, having just an absolute great time and would be this bright ball of energy uh, backstage, whether it was at our events, she would come to our training camp. She trained a little bit at the Worldwide Dojo with Sumi and world famous CB. And uh, I used to, we used to see her quite a bit every time she was in the United States. How do you remember Hana? Yeah, um, I, I unfortunately actually never got to wrestle Hana. I oh. wrestled uh, Kyoko, Kyoko-san. And, uh -huh. water. and that's when I first heard about her beautiful daughter, Hannah. And the one thing I remember the most when I met her was her smile. Like, how do you not remember that smile? And she was so sweet and so outgoing. And I don't want to, I don't want to say too much because I know it's a touchy subject, but she was just a sweetheart and you, she had so much life to her and energy and fans loved her and she was always goofing around and joking and wanting to make people happy. And she was a pleasure to be around and it's sad. And, you know, when I first went to Japan, I didn't, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anything. I didn't know what was going on. It was my first time out of the country. And the first person to message me was Kyoko-san and Hana just, you know, inviting me over to the pool or just inviting me out to eat. And Hana's English was so good. Like you mentioned, she was just very talkative and the first person to make conversation with me and tell me it's going to be okay here. And, you know, oh, come hang out with us and just making you feel welcome. And, you know, just, just a beautiful, a beautiful soul. And Sumi. You are the oh. first women's champion in, in Ring of Honor, but if it were up to Hana, it would have been her. I don't know. I'm going to sing a song for you, and I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> I got the belt. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memories of Hana. Uh, when she was backstage and she won the tournament, she wanted to, to carry the belt, steal the belt, and she wanted to take it from you. <laughs> Just so... 
I don't have a kid, and but I love a kid, and I, I feel like she's like, she's not my kid, but I feel like I, you know, I know her like a long time, and like, Kyoko is like for me, like like my best friend. If I I have something, I can tell her, and that she, I hope she will tell me everything, and uh. I never ever forget that when I could see Hannah in the ring first, first time her match in United States at Ring of Honor, like tournament. I was so happy and like, I was so honored to be being with her. And, uh, uh, oh, thank you, Sumi. And, <laughs> and sorry. You know, sorry. But that's okay. And I appreciate everybody's but willingness. I, to, to be open like this, a, this was a tragic loss and we, d we don't want to lose sight of that. And we don't want to lose sight of somebody that was really special that is now gone. And it's okay to cry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. Like, yeah. I'm crying too. I'm trying to hold it <laughs> together. Um, I'm trying to kind of hold it in here, but thank you so much, Sumi. Um, you also, when she was here in the United States, uh, you helped train her in, in Bristol a, a bit. You were at the Ring of Honor tryouts in Dojo in, in Baltimore. Um, what's your, do you have a favorite memory of her, um, whether it's her in kindergarten or her in, in Ring of Honor? It, was, it, was it when she got to wrestle here in the United States and you, it, you got to see yeah. her here? That, that day was so, like I never ever forget that. When I saw her in the ring, um, yeah, I was so happy. It was my, like her first match I could wrestle her. It's amazing. Hannah's one of the few folks that have wrestled, few women stars that have wrestled in Madison Square Garden and the Tokyo Dome. Uh, such an amazing set of accomplishments that all happened before age 23 and just one of a kind talent. And so we're really excited to present this event to you. Uh, Sumi, can you help me with the pronunciation? It's Hana Matane. Is it is it Matane correct? Yes, Matane. And can you explain a little bit what that means? It has to do with reincarnation, correct? So Matane is a like see you. I believe I can see her one day, mm -hmm. and I, I feel still like she's watching me, <laughs> <laughs> and she's watching everyone. <laughs> right. <laughs> she sent these wonderful shirts to us. I, there was a there was a yeah, potential ship. We got it to us oh. just in time. <laughs> she mm -hmm. have been, and uh, there's a lot of folks in Ring of Honor across the wrestling world. Yeah, and, you know, we we want to thank everybody that's that's been supporting this. We want to thank Ring of Honor who helped some of the logistics behind it. We want to thank our friends in AEW who've also retweeted this. Our friends in Impact. Um, this is a Ring of Honor supported event, but this is truly for Hana. This is, this is to remember her and the legacy she leaves behind. On this event, you'll see three matches that have over 20 total wrestlers. So what we're saying is to celebrate Hana's life, some of Hana's favorite wrestlers, including Hub, right? Is that HUB Hub? Uh, they'll be there. Uh, Issa 8, who's one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, Mil Mangus. Mil Mangus is one of my favorites as well. Um, some of these, a lot of these great wrestlers, they'll be there and it's going to be in the United States, Saturday night, Saturday, May 22nd at 10 PM in Japan, it's May 23rd. And the significance of that date is, is the one year anniversary of Hana's passing. So we hope you join us on Saturday night, um, May 22nd at 10 PM Eastern fight.tv. I really want to thank everybody for joining. Um, I know for some this was, including myself, this was this was tough. Um, it's it felt good though to talk about Hana. Uh, it feels good to to keep her memory going, and I really hope everybody is able to join us on Saturday night here in the United States. We're gonna have a real good time. There's gonna be English commentary from myself and world's world famous CB Cheeseburger. There's gonna be Japanese commentary as well. So on Fight TV, make sure you choose the option that's right for you, and. Thank you to our guests for joining, and we wish you all a great night, and we hope to see you on Saturday night here in the United States. Like, if I could jump oh, in for a oh, second. Please, yes. I, yeah, for fans, uh, just one, if you guys can support Kyoko and Hana in any way you can, just make sure you pick up any kind of merchandise that supports 
her family and also just the night of the show share your favorite memories with hana if you've met her at a show if you went to japan to see her or when she was in the united states fan photos or as a wrestler just tweet your pictures out and join the conversation and just you know be kind be kind absolutely and i i almost forgot the the most exciting part of this is hana the Proceeds go to Hana's family, to Kyoko, and so it's very exciting. It's a great way to be able to support uh, Kyoko, Kimura, and the Kimura family. And thank you all for joining us. We'll see you on Saturday, May 22nd at 10 p.m.